Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the basic process flow for work clearance management by SAP. So first, I'll start with a brief overview of what work clearance management is. So WCM is used to provide necessary maintenance work on technical objects like inspections, preventive maintenance, or repairs. And this work can only be executed once all the measures to ensure a safe working environment have been implemented. And so these measures can include lockout, tagout, fire protection, radiation protection, etc. Lockout, tagout is a major part of work clearance management. Um, and in this in the lockout tagout, technical objects are isolated electrically or separated mechanically from other parts of the technical system while the work is carried out. And in general, work clearance management is typically used in the chemical, oil, gas, and supply industries. So now we'll get into what work clearance management is in a more detailed view. So there are two different models within the plant maintenance module of work clearance management. We have our standard and the enhanced model. And in this video, we'll be looking at the enhanced model um, because it provides more flexibility and it allows for multiple work applications like hot work or hazardous chemicals. And in the enhanced model, there's an additional object called a work approval. And this binds together the plant maintenance orders to the work clearance applications. So now we'll begin the actual workflow for the work clearance management. So we'll begin with a maintenance order. And in this maintenance order, um, in IW31, up at the top here, we can see that once you activate work clearance management, you'll see this WCM in the system status. And you can do this in two ways. One of the ways is entering the control key WCM into an operation and using that dropdown. And then another way, which is to issue a permit to that particular work order. And this will also activate work clearance management. This is also required for this process is issuing permits. So right down here, you can see this is a work permit that I have Created. So after you create this, this order um, and activate work clearance management, you will create work approval. Now work approvals link plant maintenance orders to work clearance applications. And I'll be explaining what applications are and work clearance documents are as we go along here, but after the work order, we'll create the work approval. So after this work approval, we're going to create the work clearance application. And the work clearance application is a work is a WCM object and it represents a safety certificate in particular for the lockout tagout. And this basically controls communication between the work approvals and the work clearance documents. So this is linking the previous step of our work approval to our work clearance document, which will be the next next step. So just as an example here, so a hot work application would be used to protect the maintenance personnel from a hot working environment before entering that actual work site. So that would be one example of what you would use a work clearance application for. Next, we'll be taking a look at the work clearance document. And this is a WCM object that's meant for executing the operational cycle. So here you can see our work clearance document is called the WCA main port battery maintenance. Um, and under here we can have two, we can have multiple different technical objects associated with this work clearance document. And so like I said, this is an object that's meant for executing the actual operational cycle. That cycle consists of three different phases, tagging, temporary untagging, which is used kind of like a test step to make sure that the technical or the functional location, uh, technical objects, sorry, works. And then the untagging process. And then it is also within this document that we define lockout tagout operations for technical objects. So here are those two technical objects that will be locking out and tagging out in this business process. And these will be te um, isolated temporarily from the system. And next we will approve our work clearance application. 
So here we can see that there are four different permits associated with this work clearance application. Begin tagging, tagging approved, tag ready, and safety environment approved. And these just all need approval um, from a manager or someone within the, uh, within the company. So we'll get this work clearance application approved. And now after we approve this, this is where we actually tag objects in the work clearance document. And this is just, we're tagging the technical objects that need to be isolated. So we will choose these two technical objects we can see right here. And then we can, from here, we will print these tags for these actual technical objects. And this will print out tags that we can put on those objects while this work is performed. Now those tags are, again, they're placed on the equipment or functional location, and we'll go back to the work order and release that for execution. And the maintenance work will then be carried out on these particular pieces of equipment or functional locations. Once the work is completed, we'll go back into our work order and we'll set that status to work completed. We'll then go to our work approval and close it out, and we'll also close our work clearance application. Now that our equipment and functional locations are ready to be used, we will close our work clearance document and untag those pieces of equipment. And then finally, we will technically complete that original order. And so that's the basic process flow for work clearance management. What we did was create a maintenance order and activated WCM from there. We created a work approval we then created our work clearance application, created the work clearance document. We approved the tagging, we tagged the equipment, and then after the work was completed, we untagged everything and we closed out our work clearance document and our work clearance application. So that concludes the video. If there are any other questions regarding work clearance management, please call one of our numbers here or visit our website at simple-sap.com.